All right, so yesterday we got the motor in Andrew's car mounted. Did the poly mounts on this. These are aluminum setup bushings, so we don't melt the, uh, the actual poly bushing. But we got both motor mounts done up front. Next thing we're gonna move back to is the transmission mount. This is the advanced adapters, 700R4 to the Dana 300 adapter. This adapter is made for going in a stock CJ with the transfer case clocked way down. So we need the transfer case clocked flat. So I spun the adapter around just to try to see if this adapter would clock flat. And if we run the mount off the side, we're able to get the transfer case flat in here. So we're gonna end up doing our mount off of the side, which will go down to a poly bushing, which will go down to this tube which we haven't placed yet, but we're gonna go ahead and make the mount for that. But since the, uh, the mount's gonna be off the side right here, the stock shift rails are in the way of this upper bolt, which isn't an issue because those shift rails need to come off anyway, because the passenger seat sitting about up to this point is gonna be in the way of that shift rail anyway. So the next thing we're gonna do on this transfer case is cut off this stock shifter rail mount up here and then just trim it down to where it's nice and flush and we're able to access the mount that's off the side right here. We got the transmission mount in there, motor mounts are done. We are now working on the ram mounts. So it's gonna be all chromoly, um, 3 16 on the bottom skid, and then eighth inch gussets, and then the whole center section where the ram mount is actually mounted is gonna be all 3 16 So 3 16 for the bottom and the ram mount sections where the clamps tie in. Right now I'm doing this all out of 14 gauge just for the mock-up stage um, of designing this ram mount. I've never done this ram mount before, so I'm just designing it all right now out of thin sheet metal to uh, keep the cost down while I'm making scraps and stuff. Getting all these measurements perfect, cutting it out, and then uh, trimming the corners to like sit flush on the welds and everything. So right now that's what we're working on. All right, next step we're doing here is we are making the pedestals that the actual ram mount collars are gonna land on and be welded to. So these are gonna be 3 16 structures that are gonna be fully welded all around to uh, secure the clamps. All of the extra sheet metal in here, like I said, the gussets, the top plate and the center plate structure that's going to go in here is all eighth inch so these are going to be three sixteenths as well as the bottom
All right, so we're just about to finish up the ram mount on this rear axle, but I wanted to show the internal view of this before we get the top plates welded on and it'll be all covered up forever. So we added these eighth inch gussets like we talked about every couple inches. That way this whole thing is supported on the bottom side. Obviously we won't be able to weld the top plates to these gussets, but they'll be welded to the tubes and then to the bottom plate. That way there's no way that this is gonna come up and then the top cap plates will just be cover plates for this internal area. All of this stuff is all eighth inch to keep the weight down. The bottom skid is 3 16 chromoly. And then these pedestals are also 3 16 chromoly construction on the sides and top plates. Everything will be fully welded before the top plates go on in here. We got these top plates fitting super nice. That way everything is tight, no open holes, fully welded. Nice and clearance for the weld surface area. Everything fits super nice. And then the only thing we are going to add out here is this is a suck down winch point or a toe point, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to do a eighth inch fish plate that covers this whole thing. Obviously this is an open cutout and then I'll do other triangle cutouts in the fish plate just as kind of styling on this front point right here. All right, one down, one to go. That was just about probably three days worth of work. So that was a decent embedded work, but this one's all done. Just got done grinding down, welded all the seams on the bottom, ground down all the seams and everything. Got it all WD-40'd up and that's it. Like I said, I'm gonna TIG weld a uh, fish plate on the front right here, just for some extra strength for that suck down point. But I think I'm gonna build the front mount first and then I'll TIG weld both of the fish plates on after that's done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get a little information on how I did this ram mount. Uh, just a little reminder, if you guys are interested in any of our chassis, the two seat or three seat, they are on sale for the whole month of July for 15% off. So that comes out to like 38.25, I think, for a chassis welded. If you guys want a DIY chassis, hit me up for that. Those are on sale too. But uh, 3825 for a welded chassis is not bad. So keep that in mind. Also, we're having our chassis giveaway. So if you guys haven't heard about that yet, go on our Instagram page and uh, look up that post. This video was on the rear ram mount. I'm gonna move to the front ram mount next and then uh, we'll be getting on to the rest of the stuff on this chassis. Not a whole lot to cover this week. The ram mount took quite a bit of time to, to get figured out and everything, but 
it's kind of the like tedious part of building, getting all the files and everything. I'm not a super great CAD guy yet, so getting all my files and measurements and everything, that way my file is good for reproduction. It took a majority of the week, but next time I make this mount, it'll uh, go a lot faster, definitely. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to keep it classy, and I'll see you guys next week.